Hey everyone, what is going on? Squirrely here. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Unless you just started playing TF2, which if you're watching this video, chances are you're not that new to TF2. You've been playing for a while and you understand how addictive and how fun this game can be. But one of the funny stereotypes that comes away from other people outside the TF2 community or just newer players in general is they notice one of the first things about TF2 is that not only is it action packed, it's a first person shooter, it's wacky, it's exciting and you're blowing things up and there's these giant team battles, but there's also hats. Lots and lots and lots of hats. So TF2 gets this rap as the hat simulator game and this quirky, goofy shooter that's been around for forever and it's older than some of the players that play it and everyone has hats and no one really understands how many hats are actually in this game. So I'm going to call them hats, but they're basically cosmetics. It could be on top of your head like a real hat. It could be, you know, glasses, a beard, body cosmetic, something for your feet, boots, whatever. But in general, I'll be calling them hats just to kind of make it easy. But TF2 is kind of unique in the fact that it just seems like we're never going to end adding more hats. And not only hats, think about all the different weapons we have now. We have Australian, Stranges, Festives, War Paints, Unusuals for these, Unusual Taunts now, like kits and fabricators and paints, and like the list of just items in this game that keep being added just goes on forever, and you have to get to a point where you eventually stop, and you think, is this good now? Is it finally too much? Like, I know we've been adding a lot, and you know, a year ago it seemed like a lot, and five years ago it seemed like there was too many items, and ten years ago it seemed like there was too many items, but like, have we finally hit a point where there's actually too many items in TF2? So we're going to talk about that today. Have we finally hit a point where there's too many hats and there's too many items? You know, if you're a trader, what does this mean for you? Is this good? Is this bad? What to expect? And kind of just how to approach this as a trader, as a player, when you understand that there are thousands and thousands of items in this game. Just to put things into perspective of exactly how many hats, how many cosmetics are in TF2, because to say there's a lot, you, you don't know, is that like 200, 300, 400? And before I give you guys a number, I want you to think about how many hats, how many cosmetics do you think TF2 actually has? Because to me, I thought about, I'm like, maybe 500 or something, 600? I mean, that sounds like a lot. But according to the wiki, as of now, there's over 1,500 cosmetics in TF2. Like I said, they're not all hats. Some of them are, you know, are things for your feet, things for your body, things for your glasses, whatever. But a vast majority of those are just regular cosmetics. Some of them are, you know, very special, unique items like collectors or rare stranges or gifts from Valve or something from a specific event that's a little bit harder to get. But a big portion of the 1,500 cosmetics, you know, probably 98% of them are just regular hats, regular cosmetics that you can get just by playing and trading in TF2. This hat simulator game known as TF2 is also well known for unusuals. That's kind of one of the first things you usually see if you're jumping in casual or playing MVM or whatever it is. When you first see this, you're like, whoa, what is that thing on your head? Your hat, you know, your head is glowing or it's on fire or has sparkles or whatever it is. So unusuals are also, you know, very well known when it comes to TF2. And we see these in other games like Halo. Uh, there's definitely a lot of other games where you can get effects for your character and for your head. But TF2 has a lot of unusual effects. Just to give you guys an example of actually how many items, how many unusuals are being traded just on backpack.tf right now in the classifieds. I'm looking at just unusuals, just for scout. That's it. If I pull this up right here, you can see there are 172 pages of unusuals for the scout. That's, you know, that's taunts, that's hats. Um, 172 pages times that by 10. So that's over 1,700 unusuals for one class in TF2. And that's not even counting, you know, weapons and things like that. So that's a very big number just looking at hats and cosmetics in general, but that's not even really counting all the different taunts. You can get regular taunts that are not unusual and different weapons and stranges and vintages which aren't really expensive or fancy. But then you also have your war paints which come you know, in a huge range of you know, wares, factory new, field tested, whatever it is. There's also Australiums, there's also festives, uh, there's also paint. So you can just see there's a huge world out there. If you're a trader or you're a player, it can be overwhelming like dude, there are just so many things. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to look for. I don't know what's good, what's bad, what's hot, what's not. So this huge hill that keeps growing and growing of TF2 items is just kind of mind boggling. I think for most people who want to come from the approach that, you know, it's all about supply and demand, you would think, well, there's a bigger supply now, there's more items, so the demand will go down and, you know, things will get cheaper, the game will become less popular, or maybe there's less people trading because there's just too many. But one of the things that's unique about TF2 is that there's so many categories. Like I was saying, you can be a trader in just one of those categories and just trade war paints or just trade, you know, factory new skins or just trade Australians or scout hats or, or unusual taunts or whatever it is. You can kind of focus and narrow down your niche and that way you can, you know, get really, really good at that specific category and you don't even have to mess with all the other stuff because most traders aren't looking at trading anything and everything. Like they kind of have things they're really good at 
If they see a good deal, they'll grab it and they'll resell it. That's kind of my philosophy, but I know what I'm good at trading. I know it's a good deal, but that's kind of within my scope. I can always do my research, you know, and find out if something's popular, but I don't think it's actually a true statement to say that there's so many items, there's too many now, it's overwhelming people, and no one wants them. In fact, I think it's kind of the opposite. There are so many options now that the price of a lot of things has gone down, and it just makes it more accessible for everybody. In fact, I think what happens is things diversify, and people can actually obtain more items. So things are easier to get. There's more items out there. It's an easier entry for people to get in the door. People maybe collect more, and there's just more variety now, which is good. Instead of before... Back in the day when it was coming to a weapon, you pretty much had like a festive and that was it. Or like maybe, you know, after MVM came out, a festive and Australian weapon. And those are like your only choices because if you want to get something nice and flashy, that's all you had. You didn't have, you know, war paints and all these different professional kits uh, and unusual weapons, things that we have now. So you have a lot of variety. You can really pick what you want. The other thing that's really nice from a trader's perspective is that you have a lot more opportunities now. So before, like I said, if there wasn't that many items in the game, maybe not that many hats or not that many different versions of weapons, it was kind of slim pickings. And if someone had more time than you or they had bots or they just had more money and they could afford to buy things or buy keys, they could kind of just outwork you or outbid you because there wasn't very much to pull from. Now, you know, there's so many items, you can find something that maybe not that many people trade or really specialize in something that there's not that many bots, you know, trading for it. So you can find bigger profit margins. So if you're looking for, you know, you're brand new to trading, you want stable prices, you know, go with the lower tier things, the fixed price things. That way it's easier just to get practice. But eventually you want to move into those items where there's not as much competition. There's not a bunch of bots flooding you. You're not looking for like one scrap profit. You're looking for, you know, multiple refined metal or multiple keys. And that way you can really, really, you know, get more bang for your buck when you're trading. One thing I also think is definitely helping out is that this entire year and in general, the TF2 player base, our Steam stats are actually pretty strong. I mean, it definitely ebbs and flows. We have, you know, lows and highs. But for the most part, our average players have been pretty darn good throughout the entire year. Once we're pushing you know, upper 60s or low 70s for average players, that is awesome. So that's more people playing, more people unboxing, more people trading, more people playing MVM, just more activity in general which is good because there's a lot of items out there. So the more people that are kind of absorbing those, trading those, moving those through the economy, the better. We kind of need that actually. You can't have a million items, but no players to trade them. So that is going to wrap it up for me. Long story short, I don't think there's too many items in TF2. I don't think it's going to hurt TF2. All it's going to do is kind of recalibrate things. If we have too many hats or too many effects, the price of some of them will go down and the more popular ones will separate. So there might be more you know, separation between the low tiers and the high tiers, which has kind of already been happening for a while anyways. But for the most part, I don't think we're you know going to hit a crossroads where there's too many hats or too many weapons or too many effects because TF2 can kind of always just rely on that. So the content creators are going to come from the community and pretty much for forever you could say tf2 is getting updates and getting content because they can always add new cosmetics new war paints new whatever and so the list of things might just grow forever to be honest but in my opinion that's a good thing that's more opportunities for you to get creative get good at something learn how to make profit off it or just enjoy it in general because the more things that are out there it's just literally more opportunities it's more things for you to get good at and to master and to benefit from to be honest Thank you guys for joining me as always. Now it's time to hear from you down below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this topic. Do you think there's too many items in TF2? I don't think Valve will ever go backwards. So you can kind of guarantee on the fact that we're only going to get more and more and more items. So you got to get used to it. I know it can feel overwhelming and daunting. There's so many hats, but to me, it's actually kind of refreshing. Even though I've been around, you know, since the very beginning and I've been trading for like eight years now, there's still hats and there's still items that I see in game to this day. I'm like, what is that hat? I totally forgot about that. Or I've never seen that before. What is that called? So that's kind of cool, actually, you know, to have that feeling that you can still see new things in TF2, even this many years later. But but stay safe. Have a great day, everyone. Don't forget to say hi and what's up if you run into me in casual. Usually I'm on the West Coast server or sometimes I'll be in Uncletopia. As well as don't forget to join my Steam group down below, the Squirrely Squad, the Elite Treehouse Club. That way you guys will get notified of all my new videos, giveaways, things like that. And uh, yeah, keep a lookout. Turn your notifications on because I expect to see you in my next video. All right. Peace. Orly, what's up, dude? Yeah. Can you do your intro, Squirly? Can you do your intro? Can you do the voice chat? Can you do your intro, Squirly? <laughs>